hello everyone in this video we are going to make this beautiful motion graphics with the geometry nodes in blender the setup is very simple and easy to control you can get these project files and assets from my patreon page and in this way you can also support this channel so let's get start so the idea is first we're going to scatter some points onto this curve and then we're going to relax those points with the help of the simulation nodes okay so we have this curve and I have added this geometry nodes modifier to this. First we are going to scatter some points on this curve. So let's add the sample curve node. Then we need the points node. Plug this into the position and let's output these points. So with this we can control the number of points. So let's increase this to 500. But all the points are on the same location. So we have to randomize this factor. So let's add the random node. Let me decrease the radius. See, and with this, we can control the seed for these points. And with this, we can control the number of points. Now, if you have a multiple curves or the curve which has multiple splines, you can enable this option all curves. Okay. Now we have these points. Next, we're going to slightly offset these point so let's add the the vector scale node and we're going to offset these points randomly okay so let's add the random node make this minus one and this should be point zero zero five okay so with this step the point going to relax around this curve or uh, uniformly suppose if we don't do this step and then point may relax in a plane so that I don't want, I want a kind of 3D distribution of the points around this curve. Okay. Next, are we going to add the simulation node? So let's add the simulation node. And then we're going to add the set position node. So here we're going to build the force. With that, we're going to relax these points. Okay. So let me show you the concept for the force. So this is the first case. So when two points are overlapping means their separation distance D is less than their radius sum. So we have to repel them so that the distance and the radius sums are almost equal. On the other hand, if the points are far away from each other, so their distance D is greater than their radius sum. So we have to attract them so that we meet this condition. So this is the idea behind the force. So to achieve this, we are going to use the index of nearest node. And with this, first we are going to get the position of the nearest point. Change this to vector. And then we are going to get the radius of the nearest point. Change this to float and add the radius node. So with this, we are going to get the direction between two points this direction so let's add the subtract node and subtract the nearest position from the current position and then we're going to add the normalize node so we have the direction and after that we're going to add the vector scale node so that we can define the offset based on this direction and here we're going to add these two radii and then we're going to add the subtract node and we're going to subtract the separation distance between two points which is basically the length of this vector okay now we have the separation distance so first we're going to divide this by two because we have two points and we're going to move each points by a half of this offset and let's add the multiply node so that we can control the strength of the force and then we're going to add another multiply node to multiply this vector or this force by this time step then plug this into the scale and this to the offset now let's put this in a frame so this is our force and let's also instance icosphere so that we can see the relaxation properly at the icosphere and let me also smooth them shade smooth increase this to 3 
and then we can also add the radius node to define the radius of these icospheres based on the radius of the points so we have this now let's run the simulation see these points are relaxing but we have to increase the force to make this motion faster see see these points are relaxing quite nicely uh, but we have to fix this jitter motion okay so to fix this we're going to use the sub step method so for that let's add the repeat zone node and connect this to this this to this and this to the simulation node and connect this geometry to this and we're going to also add this delta time to this and this to the this force node okay so with this repeat zone node we are going to divide this time step into smaller step okay and the dynamics is going to happen within those smaller steps and hence it going to smooth the motion so let's add the math node change this to divide then add the integer node and use this for this so when it is one it is using this delta time the default step or the one step if i increase this to 10 then it is using 10 sub steps so let's run the simulation see now the motion is quite smooth you can even increase this number beyond 10 if there is jittering in the motion so let's make this uh, sub steps so now we have our setup which is relaxing the points quite nicely okay so this is our current setup now we're going to animate this radius to get a nice animation for these points okay so by default this radius is going to be zero and here we are also going to sample the vector of the spline so we're going to animate the radius based on this vector so let's add the map range node so here we're going to add the set point radius node let's plug this into this and let's type here 0 0.025 and if i run this see we have our radius gradient along this curve nice so we can animate this gradient okay so let's add the math node change this to subtract and here we're going to add the ks time fall of node by the way these fall of nodes are freely available on my gumroad page okay so let's do the animation from one to maybe 100 frame and we can change this from minus one to one sorry one to minus one so at the start we have no points or the points with zero radius see we have a very nice animation you can also randomize the radius for these points so just add the random node here and change the radius from 0 0.01 to 0 0.025 let's change the seed now you have a points with different radius okay now let's add the material to these points so first we're going to store a random value for these points so that we can randomize the material let's call this a random and here we're going to add the set material node let's first create a material then select that material here okay so now let's go to the shading we have this now let's add the attribute node type random and change this to instancer because our these icospheres are instance not a real geometry then we can add the ramp node into this i think we need to change the seed of this random node okay nice and now let's make this around 0.35 metallic roughness 0.15 and let's make this uh, magenta type color something like that 
and now you have this points with different color and they are relaxing on a curve you can also add the material based on the texture with that you can add many variations let's change this to object and here we're going to use an image let's try this image and we're going to stretch this maybe two five something like that and right now all this is in a one direction or they have a same material direction we can randomize this by randomizing this rotation type here tau now we have these spheres with different orientation and we can also randomize the rotation of this texture to get a even further variation in the material so let's add the multiply node plug this into the rotation and with this you can randomize the rotation for this point to get a different result okay you can try a different texture maybe in this Now you have this kind of material, okay, and you can easily draw a different curve or curve onto any object to get a different result. So let's try a different curve, maybe something like that, or let's try a overlapping curves. See, so this is the complete setup. You can get these project files from my Patreon page. So I hope you learned something from this video. So if you like, then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. If you want to support me, you can support me through my Patreon page or you can buy my presets. I'm going to add this relaxing particle setup to the extra nodes. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy nodding. Bye.